Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to sit and talk about and compare three of the RWS decks. I feel like these three are probably a few of the most popular Rider Waite Smith decks. And I know that there are a ton of different versions out there, but these three are the ones that I have seen the most, I would say, um, on social media and yeah, just seeing other tarot readers use. So I'll start off by introducing these decks to you if you are not already aware of what they are. So we have the original Rider Waite Smith deck, the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot, and the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Out of these three, the original was my first purchase and then I bought the Radiant Wise Spirit and only recently did I purchase the Radiant Rider Waite. So I'll start off by comparing the boxes of each. So the original is a bit of a thinner, smaller box. Um, as you can see, it's already kind of starting to come apart. And I don't use this deck like ever. Um, so for it to be falling apart without it ever really being touched or like leaving my shelf um, kind of just shows you how durable or not so durable the box is. And then we have the Radiant, which is in a similar type of box, but this one isn't as beat up. This, I believe this was already there when I purchased it. Like when I got it in the mail, it was already kind of crinkled and bent. Um, but yeah, this box definitely isn't old enough for it to have any sort of damage like the original one. But yeah, it's it's basically in the same kind of box. I think it's even the same size as the original. This one also has the magician on it, but on the back, whereas the original has it on the front. So very similar boxes for those two. And then the Radiant Wise Spirit kind of takes a whole new direction. So this is a very sturdy box. It is thick. I've even dropped this box a few times and as you can see there's like no damage on it anywhere. And this was the deck that I would use a lot and still do. Um, I currently don't have the cards in there anymore. I keep them in a little felt bag now just because it makes it easier but yeah definitely the better, more durable box out of the three. So if we take a look, we'll start off with the guidebooks first. Okay, so if we take a look at each of the guidebooks, I have zoomed the camera in a little bit so you guys can see it a bit better. So with the original deck we have um, a very small paper book. It's quite thin, quite flimsy. Personally I'm not a huge fan of paper like like this kind of paper guidebooks. I usually like something a bit thicker, something that I feel like I can flip through without the fear of ripping any of the pages. And there's about a small paragraph um, for each of the cards. So definitely not a whole lot. Some of them not even a paragraph, some of them just a couple sentences. So not a whole ton of information. And then if we move on to the Radiant, this one though feels a bit thicker, like not a whole lot, but I don't know, definitely feels a bit thicker. Maybe not, maybe it's just because this one's 
newer about the same amount of information as the original. I haven't even really used this guidebook yet. Um, even when I used the cards, I ended up reaching for uh, the Radiant Wise Spirit guidebook to help me out. So yeah, another small type of guidebook. And then if we move on to the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, this one is definitely more like an actual book. So we have a nice thick cover with even like a matte sort of finish to it. So that's quite nice. We even got some color on the inside as well, whereas the other ones were just black and white. There's definitely more information I feel um, given for each card. Definitely a lot more and just easier for me to understand also. I even tend to reach for this guidebook even if I'm using any other deck. Like, it doesn't even have to be any of these two, any of my tarot decks. If I need some help with some of the cards, I usually will grab the Radiant Wise Spirit guidebook. Okay, so those are the guidebooks. So if we take a look at the actual cards now, um, we can see that there is a slight difference in size. So with the original and the Radiant, they are about the same, yeah. So they are the same size, but if we take a look at the Radiant Wise Spirit, it is a little bit bigger than the other cards, not by much just a little bit hanging over. So if we take a look at the back design, so a lot of people really don't like the backing of the original. I don't hate it. I mean, it's definitely not my favorite, but I don't know. I, f I feel like the blue is kind of pretty. I don't know. I don't, I don't hate it. And then if we look to the backing of the Radiant, we have some cute little speckly stars. If you can see that, if it'll focus. And then, to be honest, even though, yes, the Radiant Wise Spirit is my favorite deck, I don't really like the backings of the cards. I don't like the orangey red color with the like olivey green tone. I don't know, I'm, I'm not feeling it. Like I feel like out of all of these card backings, I would probably have to go with the Radiant as my favorite backing. So I don't have the cards in any particular order, but to show you some of the differences, I will bring up the same card um, from each deck so you can get a good comparison. But if we start with the original, like I've mentioned before in previous videos, I am not a fan at all of this imagery. I don't like the colors that are used. There's just a, a lot of yellow within this deck and I don't know, it just sticks out like a sore thumb or something. I just, like, there's just so much yellow. And I'm just not, not feeling it. And maybe it's just the type of yellow that's used. Like, it's not subtle at all. And I feel like there's yellow in places where yellow is not needed. <laughs> yeah, so because this imagery doesn't resonate with me, doesn't click with me at all. Um, I don't use this deck really ever for that reason. I find that their expressions are hard to read also, and I tend to rely on that a lot when reading, whereas the Radiant I feel this is the best deck um, for facial expressions to be clear. 
like it's not hard at all for me to see or for me to read how anyone is feeling within the cards or like what emotion is being portrayed. Also, the colors are very beautiful in this deck, very vibrant. There isn't one color dominating all the cards. <laughs> it's definitely a nice flow. I mean, I, I see a lot of blue, but it's not like overpowering, you know, like it's not an eyesore. And when there is yellow, it's just a nice, you know, subtle yellow. It's not attacking the whole card. <laughs> I can see their faces so well in this deck, like it makes me happy. If I had to nitpick at something in this deck, the only thing I would say is just the fact that it's not borderless. Like, I prefer borderless decks, but that's if I, I have to pick something. It definitely doesn't, like, affect me using the deck or anything. And I also like how it says, too, exactly um, what the card is. It's very handy for a newbie like myself but yeah the colors are just really stunning in this deck a lot of detail I love it so with the radiant wise spirit we have a borderless deck which I love and the colors are so lovely within this deck it's so bright and vibrant and I love how the yellow that's used is more like a gold, whereas with the original, it is just straight yellow, <laughs> but this kind of gives it more of a, a goldy sort of touch to it. It was definitely the imagery though that caught my eye with this deck and the fact that it's borderless. I love all the colors. Yeah, it's definitely what makes it my go-to deck. I feel like the Radiance still has it beat though when it comes to uh, like details within the facial expressions. I feel like the Radiant is more clear. This one's not bad, but I just feel like the Radiant, it's a bit more clear and easier to see. So I've pulled the Emperor card from each of the decks so we can take a closer look at each one and compare. So everyone has their own, you know, preferences, personal opinions when it comes to things. Um, but actually, like, looking at them now, this one was always my favorite. Like, the Radiant Wise Spirit was always, and it still is my favorite. Um, but I just feel like because of how clear and detailed the Radiant deck is, I don't know, I just feel like this deck is really great for beginners. Like, if we take a look at the original, I don't even, like, really know where he's looking, you know? Like, is he looking off to the side? Is he looking straight at me? Like, I can't tell. But if we look at the Radiant, we can see exactly where he's looking. He's looking off to the side, you know? And is he mad? Is he happy? Is he upset? Like, but you really get that clear image, that clear picture with the Radiant. And even with the details, like on his chair, and just how clear all that is, or even like the hills in the back. And then if we look at the Radiant Wise Spirit, definitely a lot of color, vibrant colors. It's a beautiful card. His facial expression is definitely more clear than the original. 
but I still feel like the Radiant has it beat. Okay, and I'll get one more card. Okay, we've got the Nine of Cups. So I feel like with this one, the Radiant Wise Spirit is very, very similar to the original. I feel like the drawing is quite the same um, within his face. The only difference would be the colors that were used. And when I look at his face within both of these decks, it almost looks like he is being, I don't know, like, I don't want to say sarcastic, but like arrogant maybe, just the way that his eyebrows are, the way that they're kind of like narrowed a bit, that, that it just kind of gives off that arrogant sort of vibe. But then when you look at the Radiant, he just looks like a happy guy. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's being arrogant at all. He just He's a happy guy who's fulfilled. So that's what I mean by like the detail and how clear the Radiant is compared to the other two. So yeah, I just wanted to pull a couple cards from each deck to help you guys get a better look at the similarities and the differences in each. So each deck definitely has its pros and cons. I know it seemed like I was kind of harsh with the original, um, but I do like this deck. I do like the fact that it is an original. It just has that, you know, that old sort of retro nostalgic you know sort of feel to it which is something that I like and appreciate it's just I don't resonate with it I don't click with it at this time maybe it will be a deck that I find myself using more in the future maybe we will better understand each other then <laughs> um but as for right now um, I just don't. I can definitely see myself using the Radiant a lot now. I already feel myself clicking with this deck. I love the imagery very much. Um, as someone who's still learning, I feel like it is a great deck, um, for a beginner. And then obviously the Radiant Wise Spirit will always have a special place in my heart. It was definitely the first deck that I ever purchased that I clicked with so quickly and so much. Like, sure I have decks that I like and I'll use them, but that connection isn't like, it's just in a different way, you know, like it's not as strong. Whereas with this deck, it was an instant connection. This was the deck that I would use all the time, or especially if I was doing readings for myself, this was my, this, it still is my go-to deck for doing my own personal readings. I mainly wanted to do this video because the other day before I purchased the Radiant deck, I was caught between this one and another RWS deck. I forget which one, but they looked very similar. And I was looking online, trying to find videos, um, comparing the two, because I wanted to see which one I was going to click with more. And the research that I found um, was super helpful and helped me choose the right deck I feel for myself. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this one, um, just in case there's anyone out there who is contemplating purchasing any of these decks, maybe you're caught between any of these decks um, and kind of want to get, you know, like more of a feel for the cards because everybody's different, everybody has their own taste in decks, so 
yeah, what works for you may not work for someone else and vice versa. So that is why I decided to make this video today. So I hope you found it helpful. I hope you were able to make a decision if you are thinking about purchasing any of these decks. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you next time.